So congratulations on the mounted gun system. It's a big surprise to all of us. Uh, could you just take us through the uh, gun and show us its features? Thank you very much, Sandeep. It is a pleasure to bring uh, this mounted gun system to this DEF Expo. We kept it as a surprise package, Ordnance Factory Board, along with BML. We were working on it for last uh, uh, 14 to 16 months. And the biggest advantage of this is commonality with the Thanush and BO2 gun. If you see the upper structure of it, the, we have a 52 caliber barrel with a double uh, baffle muzzle brick, which is a new design. And the whole upper structure is same as Thanush. So, the Indian Army will have great advantage in logistics as well as the familiarity to the equipment. When we go for mounted gun system, the biggest package is its mobility. And if you see, this, this truck can travel at uh, 70 km per hour. You will be happy to know that it travels from Jabalpur to Chennai in three days flat while traveling only during the day. If you look at this, it's a very simple concept. The whole upper carriage of the Thanush has been put on this, except for the barrel. Thanush barrel is 45 caliber. The advantage of this 52 caliber is we get additional 3 to 4 kilometers over Thanush. Chamber is 23 liters, which is JBMOU qualified. JBMOU is Joint Ballistic Memorandum of Understanding, which whole Europe and US follows. So we have retained that same chamber so that the standardization is there across the product. Now, you see, we have designed these jacks, this platform and these two big cylinders which you are seeing. This one is uh, one big cylinder. These are called stabilizers. When you fire in an angle, then the gun tends to dip in one direction. So, the stabilizer has to function and bring it up to the same level. So, it has got a sensor and automatically it moves up to bring the gun back to the leveling condition. This whole, if you see, this is called loader station. It can carry three shells at the moment, but we are thinking of uh, raising it to four shells so that number of shells we can fire is more. And if you come down here, this is layer station. <laughs> this layer station here is equipped with ballistic computer. And up there, we have other kind of things and just behind that, we have inertial navigation system. The again, biggest input for this is that it is indigenous <laughs> control system built, built by Bell. The even inertial navigation system, it has sensors from RCI, uh, DRDO. So, indigenization content is very high. The, the, Army is coming up with a requirement of 814 guns. So we wish this, if this project could be converted to indigenous design and development category instead of buy and make. So because unnecessary we will be wasting out foreign exchange when the technology is right available back in the backyard. So what was the biggest challenge for you when you were designing this uh, uh, mounted gun system and how did you go about solving those challenges? The biggest uh, challenge is the selection of proper platform you know you can build it on six by six you can build it on eight by eight also six by six has advantage that it has got lower turning radius eight by eight we have longer turning radius but the biggest advantage is the vehicle remains very stable for all the charges all angles and all the travels and this gun has to be designed also for direct firing once we design it for direct firing then the barrel has to come to zero degree. Okay, this barrel at the moment it is at around 55 degree elevation, it will come down to uh, around zero degree. So when you fire that, there is a muzzle blast. So the crew are to be protected. So that is why when we go for eight by eight, it is a much better combination for the safety of the crew right. and also to get the right target including the accuracy. So a lot of the decision was taken for crew comfort. Crew comfort. It is an AC cabin. Right. Air conditioned cabin. And if you see, these are the blast protected and protection, and it offers also protection against 5.56 and 7.62 bullets. So these are armor panels here. Armor panels. Okay. 
example, right. if you see this, these two boxes, the biggest advantage of MGS is that it can carry its ammunition on its own. You, it's an autonomous gun in true sense. Right, and how many rounds can you store here? In the At the moment, the GSQR stipulation is to carry 18 rounds. So we have designed it for 18 rounds of uh, uh, shells, ERAB, BB, BT, and then the BMCS charges up to uh, Jones 6 can be carried, 18 sets. Right, and uh, what are the other big challenges in the, you know designing this? And how long did it take the uh, Ordnance Factory Board to come up with this project? Look, we started working on this project only uh, a, a year and a half back. So we contact, we select, we scouted the vehicles. We found that 8x8 is the most suitable vehicle and Tetra is a vehicle which is war proven and very, very sta stable platform. So we contacted BML, they selected, we selected the vehicle, we suggested the drawing modifications and the requirement for the mounted gun system. So we worked on the drawing board for initially eight months. Eight months we were on the drawing board in which is simulations and the finite element analysis of all the components were done. We have selected a vehicle with which has got eight by eight. All wheels are independently driven. They have got independent suspensions. If you can see the light thick springs, beef springs over there. So it's a cross country movement will be excellent. And you see earlier, not many companies, companies like Caesars, Atmos, they had taken six by six as a platform for mounted gun system. Now they are going again for eight by eight, probably with the understanding the limitations of the six by six platform. These are the hydraulic, uh, uh, hydraulic system pipelines coming and the power takeoff drives the complete gun system. The movement of the gun system is hydraulic. If you see the two cylinders, there are elevating cylinders. They also balance the gun when firing. This, this cylinder, the big the long cylinder which is vertical at this point of time. And if you see, it, it can, its rate of elevation is at the moment around 2 degree per second. But we can raise it to up to 5 degree per second for quick deployability. If you see MGS, autonomous means truly autonomous in the sense it has got inertial navigation system. It can it can communicate a, a triple CS, so direct input from that command it can take. It has got ballistic uh, ballistic data inside the ballistic computer. It can design and decide at what target it has to acquire, as well as the ammunition system. In general, when it is a towed gun system, right. a separate vehicle has to come for the of charges and the ammunition. Right. So it, it's, it's a truly autonomous system. So it's a completely independent firing completely unit, independent. which does not need any other any vehicle. Other it doesn't Only need a... command. You give the command, it will be there. So what is the foreign components uh, in this? Uh, you know, have you had to put in imported components uh, being the first of its class? Fortunately, Sandeep, uh, we have very, very little foreign content in this. And in, in fact, Dhanush is 81% indigenous. And this is, I think, more than 90% indigenous components are being used. Right. Only where some springs are there for which Indian manufacturers are not good. Some seals are there so far as uh, recoil system is concerned. We are importing that. Rest of everything, including the inertial navigation system. Although it is SAGEM-1, right. but the sensors are getting developed in India. So it's only the INS that you've yes, had to import. INS. But even the MVR, although it's Israeli one, the front one which is which yes. sits above this, it is Israeli one, but Bell has got license to manufacture. Right. So it is indigenous. INS also it will be indigenous. And what about the firing uh, trials of this? When do you think the this MGS will go into trials? So we uh, Sandeep we decided to do it in two steps. First step, what we did, we thought that first the barrel must be proven and the upper upper structure must be proven. So we took uh, around two years back, we fired this barrel, proof fired this barrel. Then on a load platform, we fired roughly 20 to 25 rounds at PXC Balasor with lot of instrumentation to know how this system is performing. So this particular barrel has been fired at Balasor, you say? Many, many rounds. Right. And this is a uh, 155 52 caliber, caliber, 23 liter chamber value which is JBMU compliant. Right. So uh, when do you think this will go into actual firing trials as a, as a firing unit, as a 
compact firing unit. What we want is, although this is the first prototype, it needs some optimization of design. So what we plan is next six months, we'll have series of firing at PXE Balasur with the instrumentation. And with that instrumentation and the data backup, we'll optimize the design. Current weight of this uh, mounted gun system is around 26.8 tons. We want to bring it down to below 25 tons, our target. But I feel that we will be able to achieve 25.5 tons. Another very major input which is required from Army point of view is ergonomics. A system could be there, but it should be ergonomically uh, convenient for the soldiers to take load the shells, take out the shells. So for that, I have requested the Army to uh, give us a couple of officers who could give us input. Being totally indigenous and also we have full design uh, expertise, ownership, so we can do any changes as per the requirement of Indian Army. Truly make in India success of the Thank you.